When you hear the word healing and spirituality, like what comes to mind? Either like religion or um, meditation. Can you also call that healing? Yeah, no, yeah, for sure, for sure. So have you ever heard of like sound baths or sound healing? I heard about it. Do you know that place in France? Yeah, yeah, Lourdes. I think they yeah. do that there, like um, sound healing and sound bath. But um, yeah, I've never done it before. I just heard about it. Do you have any expectations or fears? like coming into this first sound bath? If it's like a loud sounds, like um, I usually get nervous. <laughs> I don't know, I've never done this before. Yeah, but like I feel like you have a strong connection with music and yes. how you like, it seems like it's something that takes you somewhere else. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I just like enjoying like listening to music and just, you know, um, closing my eyes and traveling or something. Yeah. I don't know how to explain that. I notice like whenever you're you're walking, I mean when we're in New York, you always have earphones. What do you feel? Do thoughts come to mind or do your thoughts stop when you're listening to music? All I know is that if I'm in some place it's like I forget about the world. I'm just somewhere else and I forget my surroundings and because I have like an overthinking mind so if I think a lot I like listening to music to kind of distract myself. Yeah. So do you have any other questions regarding what's going to happen or things about sound baths or healing? Anything that's kind of like, that's been hovering yeah. in your head? Well, you have done a few. Yeah. What's your yeah. experience? They're pretty incredible, honestly. Like the first time I did it, it was so, it, it's magic. Mm -hmm. Like for me, that's the word, it's magic. Sometimes it gets very visual. It's like you're watching a movie in a way. Mm -hmm. Like you're watching colors, you're watching people. You're watching dreams and memories kind of blur together. Like I would like compare it to like the movie The Matrix, when they plug you in mm. and you kind of go to this world where then you're sort of in control but not really in control. And that's pretty amazing. I feel like just with sound and that particular kind of healing brings you to that point. Mm. And you're just super relaxed and yeah. So Satnam, welcome. Um, I take it it's your first yeah. gong bath. This is a symphonic gong. Um, there's several types of gongs, but this one in particular is um, tuned into the, they say it's tuned into the frequency of the whole cosmos, the universe. So the idea behind um, a gong bath is um, Obviously, you're not gonna get wet. <laughs> you're just gonna lie down, and you're gonna absorb the um, vibrations, the sound of the gong. And um, they say that when the, the sound of the gong, the way it works is it basically um, stops your brain from thinking. The layers, the vibrations of the sounds, your, your, your brain basically isn't able to compute it mathematically because it's, it sounds like nothing, um, nothing that you're used to anyway um, because it is the sound of the universe. So your brain stops to, at a certain point, it stops to work it out. So it just refuses to, you know, um, engage in that um, computation. So it just stops to uh, work, hence you are delivered into a state of deep relaxation. So it's a very powerful, very healing. Um, some of the benefits of a gong bath is um, it increases vitality. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's very calming for the nervous system. Um, it also is, um, somehow it, it um, detoxifies, so it's good for the skin. It also increases your, uh, your intuition. Um, so if you're a creative person, um, it you know, really works in releasing more creativity. So um, for the next 20 minutes, that's all I would like you to do, to lie down and uh, really relax. Uh, it might take you to that state where ideally you would want to be in that state of, um, they call it the theta state, where you're just in between conscious and, and, and asleep. But if you fall asleep, that's perfectly fine as well. 
Okay, so um, enjoy. What started your journey towards this? Well, my journey actually started when I decided that I was going to become a teacher of Kundalini Yoga. Learning to play the gong came later on. I had my first experience of a gong bath a year after um, practicing Kundalini Yoga. This was in India and it was nothing short of transcendental. My teacher shared with us that when you are playing the gong, you are being the vessel. So it means that before you even do it, you know, you have to make sure that you are aligned, um, that you are tapping into something much higher than you, much bigger than you. It's not, you're not the doer, you're not the one. Okay, it's my arms that's being used, it's my um, rhythm, my intuition, but I, make it a point that I really tap into something. In terms of spirituality here in the Philippines, especially Manila, and you being a yoga teacher, and like, what are your thoughts on that? Like, what are your personal sentiments on what's, ha what's been happening right now? Oh, how we're evolving. How we're evolving, like, what do you think? Where are we headed? I'm very excited. We're living in such auspicious times right now on the planet. And for us who are uh, resonating with this, type of thing, whatever it is, yoga, meditation, um, gong bath, uh, reiki, all, all, all those things that um, are not really something that person of uh, pure logical outlook would resonate with. It's doing its thing, it's, yeah. it's contributing to the mass awakening. So I find that more and more people are, are really getting into that. And it's really helping, it's really helping them. Yeah, I agree, totally agree. Now, so, how was that? Like, maybe you can describe what happened with the, with the gong bath. Well, um, now I feel, I feel different. I don't know, I can't explain. It's like, I feel, I feel weird, but not bad weird. Yeah. It's just, when I like, like woke up, it, it's like, I felt like, it was so weird being here because like during the, the, um, gong, the gong, gong bath, bath yeah. yeah, it's like I was like somewhere else. Um, it was hard for me to focus first because um, you really have to be like super calm and focus on the sound and once I did that, I was not in the room anymore. Yeah, I totally got that. It, yeah. it becomes like, I remember the first minute I think when she started playing the gong. I started seeing myself, Chini, and you moving out. Moving like, out. Kind of like not, I mean, you were still lying down, but then I guess your souls were like just jumping out really, yeah. really slowly. And you're just kind of hovering. And then it just got super visual after that. For, for me, I only saw myself. It's like I, it's like I saw myself. It's like, it's like, um, 
<laughs> it's so hard to but explain, not, but, but I, like, I saw myself. But clearly, it's not a normal experience. That doesn't happen every day. No. Right? <laughs> but, but does it feel like a, like a journey to you? Like in a sense, because for me, it always feels like it's, you're jumping out, then you just, for me, fire and water were like the themes today. Mm -hmm. Like I just kept seeing a lot of fire, like kind of like surrounding my body and then waves crashing on me in super slow motion. What did you see? What did you feel like, like physically? When I, when I saw like the, it was like black. I can't really, I think it was black, yeah. It was like I saw myself. And it was like, like stars. Stars. <laughs> yeah. But that's nice yeah, though. Yeah, that but was how, nice. But how did it like? How did it end for you? Would you say you experienced like the healing aspect of the gong, or was it something more, just a different experience? It is a nice experience, and it's something new. Um, but I definitely understand the healing. Like I feel like it, it calms you, it clears your mind, and because I'm in. I have like an overthinking mind. Once it gets really loud, it's so hard to think. It's like, it's just your thinking just stops and it's like you can't really think and um, it's, it, it's good. Cause like, especially if you have a, an overthinking mind, um, you just sometimes just want to stop thinking. You just want to stop your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this yeah. kind of did it, right? Yeah, and it just happened. And yeah, it feels good. <laughs> so would you do it again? Yeah, I would.